This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone, I'm Srinivas, Srinivas Guripati. As part of this session, we are going to see types of parameters in Power BI Report Builder. As part of previous video, we understand that with the help of a parameter concept, we can dynamically filter the queries and display the data. But as part of a parameter selection, you can see that you can select only one parameter at a time. If you are having a requirement to select a multiple values at a time, we need to configure it. So we are going to divide these parameters into two categories. One is a single parameter, single value parameter, the second one is a multi-valued parameter. So the city is the one which can take only one value as input. Why it is taking a one value as input and how to make it take multiple values as input is. Now configure the parameters. You are having an option called allow multiple values. If you not select this one and if you configure whatever, that is a single value parameter. If you not select a multi, allow multiple values, even if you enter a manual values, even if you enter a manual values, or even if you get the data through a query, or even if you select any default values, that is going to be a single only that is going to take a single value. Click on OK, and whenever you run it, it always take only one value and return according to the data. But whenever you configure this parameter as a multi, allow multiple values. This is a multi-valued parameter. So this will allow you to select multiple values. Okay, by default, uh, single. And if you allow multiple values, it will allow you to select multiple values or select all. Whenever you click on a report, it is going to give an error that is an expected one. Because whenever you select a multiple values, this query is going to pass a multiple values to here, but you are not capturing that one properly. So what you need to do is you need to mention in select a, at a where condition, you need to mention it as a in. So whenever you mention this one automatically, it will capture multiple values. Now click on OK. So this we made it as a multi-valued and this we made it as to accept a multiple values we provide in operator. Now let's go there and I select Guntur and Pune view report. Pune and Guntur both are came when it is displaying the data. Even if you select all, it is going to get the data like Pune, Chennai, Guntur, everything is getting displayed. So this is how you can pass a multiple values to your data set. So these are the two types of parameters that we have as part of a report builder. Thanks much for watching the video. If you have any questions, comment down as part of a comment sections.